Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, in the last episode, we rebuilt this engine for this 2016 Porsche 911. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to put the engine inside of the car, and we are going to finish building it. Uh, take engine from the crate. Uh, we're going to move this here. And in goes the engine. Oh, that looks good. Right. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with the rear. Because the way we built it was slightly different. So I think we might have to start with the rear part of the car. Um, one thing I haven't done is remove this exhaust. Uh, so it's 991 for this Porsche. There we go. Uh, that is our chrome exhaust system. And obviously we got our turbos as well. So they look really good. <clears throat> um, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to fit in a custom gearbox. Uh, I'm guessing it would be B6A. Yes. And it's just a normal starter motor. We're going to drop the engine down and sort that out. Um, I think we've also got a battery to sort out too in here. Or is that in the front? That might be in the front. Um, brake servo. There we go. <clears throat> right. Um, inside the front, I want to sort out. Uh, do I'm. This is a. Oh, this is a battery charger. That makes sense now. Um. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're lagging like a bitch. Here we go. There we go. And then this one. And now we should be able to build everything else from underneath. So. Do I seriously not have any rubber bushings? I always buy too many rubber bushings, and yet I still don't have rubber bushings. Okay, uh, brakes, we need... I presume the fronts must be ventilated, because if they're not, then that's a pretty bad job. Um, as well, because this is four-wheel drive, we don't need any hubcaps because all of them will have drive axles in, but we still need the bearings. There we go. Uh, 
Right, so we need... And we also need two of these. And that is that side done. Now let's, um, nope, this one. Take that, join up one of the front ones so that when it comes to the front, we don't have to wait around. Um, we're also going to need quite fat tires for this as well. Um, Brake pads. Right, that's the rear of the car sorted out. And if we go here and start rebuilding the front, we're going to need a front sway bar. Um, so we need inner tie rods and outer tie rods, definitely. Um, I'm guessing we're going to need sway bar front end link Bs, because that's what we need most times. Um, we also normally need some... That might be it, actually, that we need. Right, uh, suspension. Let's take that. In we go. Uh, upper suspension arms. They're always quite useful, mainly because we need them. Oh, and look at that. Perfect. Got the right ones this time. Hang on, we haven't even put the differential in yet, and we can put that in. That does not make sense, but we'll go with it. This car's weird. It steers from the opposite side. It steers the car from the rear of the wheels, not the um, front part of the wheels. Uh, we are going to need a fuel tank. Uh, rubber bushings there. Uh, here we go. We need this. Uh, 
chuck those shock absorbers in here. Ah, so that's what broke. I know there was one part that broke, and it normally seems to be one of the suspension arms. Like, every single time we've done it, it seems to always be either an upper suspension arm or a lower suspension arm. One of the two. Right, and then if we fit our differential in, and then our drive shaft, we are good to go. Right, next up we need some wheels on our car. Um, we're going to move these over here because the car isn't in 100% condition. Because if you look on the exterior, you might be able to see it if I come up here. You can see there's scratches on it. So we're going to use a welder. And uh, nope. And now if you look, there's no scratches. And then we use that and then that's the interior at full uh, perfect condition as well. Um, we need tyres, so what size are we currently rocking? We're currently rocking 245-35-20 and 305-30-20. Right, so we're going to use 30-20s on the fronts and the rears, but we're going to use a 255 and a 325. Um, and we're also going to use, not the slick tyres, uh, I think we'll use race tyre because, yeah. Two, five, five, and three, two, five, I think I said. I didn't get two tyres. Three, two, five. There we go. And then we need nine, nine, one rims. We've only got one variation. Um, some of the cars seem to have two variations. Oh my god, what car has size 25 rims? If anyone knows what car has size 25 rims, let me know. I need to know this. What is ET as well? Is that... Hang on, ET is extended travel, isn't it? So does that mean, hang on, I want to see what happens if I get ET 20 rims on here, because I don't actually know what ET does. Go for 15 on the rears. Because if it is extended travel, then that means... And the fronts are abnormal. zeros with the 255 tire yep sounds about right uh, and then we're gonna have whoa they're chunky 
Hang on, is that me or does that look like it's raised up a little bit? And also, if I've got ET wrong, please let me know in the comments what it actually means. Because I would presume it means, like, extended out from the actual car. So, they'd be a little bit sort of sticky out. Um... Because they are flush, so I would presume the other ones would stick out a tiny bit. Because if they do, then that's going to make the Plymouth DLC quite interesting. And the Dodge one. Um, I think the next DLC we're doing is the Dodge Modern. I'm pretty sure. Because um, I sent out the community post about a week ago. Saying which one you, wanted, you guys wanted to see. And I think Dodge won by Storm. Like the modern one. Yeah, look, the tyres stick out. They're not even that much wider on... That might be what it means then. Um, right, one thing I have just forgotten. Air intakes. So we need the B6. Air filter base and air filter cover. And then we're going to fit in our performance air filters. There we go. Right. Um, assemble. We got an engine cover. Carrera hood. Okay, so we need left and right tail lights. And all of the windows, but all the body panels are repaired. And the front bumper got destroyed as well. Right, uh, let's go buy them then. Is it 991, yeah? Yes, okay. Uh, front bumper, window, 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 window. Window, window, left tail light, right tail light, and headlights. Right, that is that sorted out. Um, one thing that I have forgotten is this. We need to fill this with oil. We need that lubrication. There we go. Uh, right. We're going to move you into the paint shop. One thing I want to see as either the next game or as DLC is something that Need for Speed Payback has done is a body DLC. So body mods DLC. Every single car in the game can have more customization. But also every car that they get in the game also gets body cuts even if it's just like uh extra vents customization something like that where you can put on um
extra parts. Um, I actually quite like bright white. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! I'm making the car chrome. Uh, you look very in very good condition. Uh, let's move you to the dyno. Hopefully, if all goes well, I haven't forgotten a single part. Oh, that looks amazing in chrome. That looks stunning. And we didn't forget a part this time. Right, let's go. So we got front wheel drive as well, so we might get more torque out of this. Six hundred and seventy seven horsepower. Okay, so not as much as I was expecting. Um but definitely a huge improvement. And because it's all wheel drive, I'm expecting um I'm expecting it to have a little more pull when it comes to uh, actually pulling away and driving in this game. Um, let's go speed track. And we're taking the Carrera 4S. Porsche 911. You pleb.